What's up guys, I'm Grizzle Hop. And today in Maker's Best Friend, we're gonna be doing a tolerance test with the new ring design for the Maslow CNC. Check it out. <laughs> so because I'm kind of tight on time with projects, we're only gonna do one tolerance test and that's gonna be in the upper left corner of the Maslow. This should be fine. From the last tolerance test we did, we could tell that the center of the Maslow definitely has the best tolerance because it's best we weighted against it. So having a test in the corner will allow us to really test out the ring design, see how much it helps. I'm gonna do the same test of a circle inside of a diamond, inside of a square, and it's gonna be a quick video, so check it out. So after cutting it out, um, I measured the length and the diameter, and I'm gonna put those measurements on the screen for you to check out right now. But the great thing to notice is that this increased the accuracy of the cuts by about 5%. And there was a there was no percent error above 2%, except for the depth of the, of the measurements. And that's my fault again, um, based off using Fusion and Cam, I didn't set the right depth for the actual piece of plywood we were cutting. So don't mind that overall depth number measurement but for everything else we're under two percent of an error which is fantastic for uh, a machine like this again not really looking for too much of an intricate cut as you would get with a cnc with rails where you can really get a lot finer precision with these cuts but this thing is great for the size of cuts you're going to get and based off what products i intend to do and i'm sure you who have bought the machine intend to do so I hope this video was helpful for you. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and like below. Any questions, comments, go ahead and comment below. I always try to get back to every single one of you guys. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks again for watching, guys.